In today's video, we're going to teach you how to collect fiddlehead ferns and cook them up for a meal. It's the middle of May in Minnesota, and underneath my Colorado blue spruce, we have our blueberry patch. And in the back of that, we have a row of fiddlehead ferns growing. First, I'm going to teach you how to properly identify a fiddlehead fern. As these grow, they're going to turn into ostrich ferns, and they're going to reach three to four feet tall. And I'll show you a picture of that right now. Okay, so why don't you come over here and I'll show you the proper identification. The first thing to look for with the fiddlehead fern is they, they start looking kind of like a little cane and they wind up like this. Now the first thing you want to look for with a fiddlehead fern is they have a brown paper, papery material that easily moves off. Okay? Just like this and right here, get a close up right here of this brown papery material it easily pops off mm -hmm. the second thing you want to look at is that there's a smooth s section right here like as it grows there's no uh, thorns or hairs on it smooth stem. yep stem and then the third thing is that there's an indentation in the groove get a close-up of that see how it's indented in there yeah that's your third characteristic so it's got an indentation it's nice and smooth and the brown papery material comes off you want to clip these off by snapping them just like this before they get to be about 8 to 10 inches tall because then they're going to grow into the ferns. So you're going to clip that off, put that in your bowl, and what you want to do is save a couple for the plant to grow healthy and we'll pick a couple. So we'll go around and pick a few. You see these three right here? are grown too tall so let's just pick the smaller ones fresh Okay, now we have them in the house and they're in this bowl here. I'm gonna set some water in there and we'll soak those and get all the little paper like pieces off and any bugs that might be in there. I'll just kind of rinse those around a little bit. Now here's our three ingredients. Fresh fiddlehead ferns all cleaned off can see right here. Another reason why it's called a fiddlehead fern is because it resembles a top of a fiddle, how it curves around. And a pan with some butter and some roasted garlic spice. So I'm going to just put the ferns in and then we'll give that a light sprinkle of garlic and we'll get those uh, cooking. Yeah, that's been about 10 or 15 minutes sauteing in the pan, now it's time to plate. Obviously, the last thing to do is do a taste test. It is kind of like asparagus. And they're really good. All right, then go ahead. Mm. Super good. All right, let's taste these. Fresh fiddlehead ferns from the garden. Mmm. Way better than asparagus. Yeah. Better than Brussels sprouts. Amazing. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.